just got a revelation. A lot of people think about Christianity as a bunch of do's and don'ts, joy, kill, party, poop. Uh, you got to earn your way in. If you don't do everything just right, you're going to go straight to hell, blah, 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 blah. Well, let me share this. This is what I just got just now. Some of you think about this. If you take an electrician's course and you have to get all the equipment that they tell you, all the tools, some of the tools the school equips you with, some of them you got to purchase, but the bottom line, you get all these tools under your belt. And then you get all these books and all these instructions that you have to have. Now, you go through all of their classes, all their lessons, you do their assignments, you take their quizzes, you take their tests. Well, guess what? The only way you're going to pass all that is if you are utilizing what you learn. You got to read it. You got to learn it. You got to use what you've been equipped with. And then when you use it, you have to use it correctly. Or someone can get hurt. You don't do the precautions they tell you to use. You may get electrocuted. Think about this. You work as a person who deals with construction and you don't use the equipment the way that you're supposed to. You're not mindful of the precautions they teach you of because they would teach you a lot of safety before you get into the do's and don'ts. And what ends up happening is while they're warning you, if you don't pay attention, if you don't listen and learn, if you don't incorporate what they teach you, Somebody's liable to fall off of a high level and die. Somebody's liable to, to strike something with the wrong tool and something pierce their head and they die. There are a whole lot of injuries that take place because people don't follow instruction. You get into a chemistry lab and you're learning to be a chemist for whatever reason. And you're learning how this formula works with that formula, how this element is mixed with that, how this gas works with that gas and the benefits and the dangers. And if you're not reading, learning, listening, paying attention and appropriating everything you've learned, somebody could get poisoned by the gas mixture. There could end up being an explosion because you mix the wrong stuff together or the wrong combination. The math is off. The numbers are off. The measurements are off. Whatever, something's off and somebody gets hurt or killed. Now listen to this. That's the way life is. You look at what God is telling you to do, what not to do. He gives you a manual to follow the Bible, his word. You listen to the major prophets, the minor prophets. You listen to the epistles. You listen to the law, the wisdom, the poetry, the eschatology. You listen to all of it, the prophecies. But you want to pick and choose what you want. Then you wonder why there are explosions in your life. You wonder why things fall through. You wonder why you get hurt. You wonder why things go wrong. Well, some things go wrong because we live in a fallen generation. But many things that don't need to go wrong, go wrong because you're not following suit. You're not appropriating what God is telling you teaching you, showing you, revealing to you in his word. And some of you aren't getting it because you're not in his word to get it in the first place. So don't blame God. He's given us everything in the world to equip us just like the science class, just like the construction class, just like the electrician class. We have been given everything possible, all the information we need. What are you doing with it? And how will your life end up as a result of what you do with what God shows you? So you can fuss all you want about how Christianity cramps your style. 
But let me ask you a question. Would you rather run around having everything your way with an empty spirit, with a miserable spirit, full of turmoil, full of torment, full of anger, full of bitterness, full of unforgiveness, full of misery, thoughts you can't forget, emotions you can't get rid of, hurts you can't remove? Would you rather live your life like that? Or wouldn't you rather have a mighty God that can remove all of the darkness from your spirit. Yes, life is going to have its darkness. Life is going to have its share of unfairness. Life is going to have attacks, problems, challenges, all kinds of setbacks. But God, God is your buffer. God is your raincoat. God is your painkiller. God is your healer. God is your head regulator. God is your heart regulator. God is your spiritual regulator. God is your direction. God is your protection. God is your correction. Wouldn't you rather have a God that helps you get through this life as painlessly as possible rather than going through it on your own thinking you got it all together when you know you don't? Just because. You don't want to yield. You don't want to submit. You don't want to obey. Those are sorry reasons for living a sorry life when God is right there, ready, willing, and able to make all the difference.